You're watching Fabtex's guide to installing and programming motorized drapery. Your motorized drapery rod is made up of the following parts. The track, the master carriers, the carriers, the pulleys, the motor, the motor battery, and the mounting brackets. For this video, we're doing a ceiling mounted center draw rod. First, determine the placement of your mounting brackets. For this rod, we recommend putting two on each side and one at the center. The sides need additional support since this is where the drapes stack. Next, we determine the rod placement. We measure the window to help find the center of the rod. When mounting the bracket, its distance from the wall should be the same as the return of the drape. In this case, 4 inches from the wall, screw it on the middle hole. If needed, nudge the bracket to make it straight. Repeat the same steps for all other brackets. Remove the motor before mounting the rod. Remember to add the return clip on both sides of the rod before mounting it on the ceiling. After, set the rod into position. Fix it in place with the bracket grooves and metal swivel piece. Check once more if the rod is centered from the window, then screw in place. Repeat for all other brackets. Make sure the rod is secured tightly. Hang your drapes. Check out our other videos on how to properly hang ripple fold or pinch pleat drapes, or how to remove carriers. Screw in your return bracket and pin the edge of your drape to close it. Then dress your drapes. Programming. The motor can be placed on either the left or right side of the motorized drapery rod. This is your motor with the battery attached. When disassembled, this is the motor. At the bottom of the motor is an LED indicator light and a programming button. And this is the battery. Its charging port is located at the bottom. On the side with the motor, attach the motor by twisting it into place and snapping shut the clamp. Next, attach the battery to the motor by twisting it into place. The light will flash and the motor will beep once to confirm it's connected and that you're in programming mode. You have a few seconds to pair your remote while the motor is in programming mode. To pair, press and hold the middle or stop button of your remote for about 3 seconds or until you hear 3 beeps and see the motor emit a green light again. Then test the remote by pressing on the open and close buttons. To restart programming mode, you can use a thin tool to push the motor's program button until you hear a beep and see a green light. After programming, close the return on the side with the motor to hide it from view. And now you're done. For more install videos, visit fabtexinstallations.com.